Hello and welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. In this tip, I want to talk about mouse gestures. I spend a fair amount of time talking about setting up customizations in SolidWorks. And it's not a critical element of working in SolidWorks, but it sure does make your life a lot easier when you can tailor SolidWorks to meet your everyday needs. I used to really stress the importance of backing up your SolidWorks settings, if you do any customization anyway, and it's still not a bad idea, but I'll tell you, I haven't backed up my SolidWorks settings in quite a while because it's gotten so easy to make the customizations when you need them. In fact, I just recently reformatted my machine and I didn't even bother to keep any of my settings just to see how it would be. I figured I would start fresh and make the changes I need as I come across them and it's been pretty painless. One of the hardest things to customize I think was mouse gestures, and in 2018 they addressed this. Mouse gesture customization is available through Tools, Customize, the Options drop-down, Customize, or my preference is to simply right-click on the blank space in the Command Manager and choose Customize. The 2018 revamp of mouse gesture customization allows for more flexibility than ever. You can use anywhere from 2 to 12 gestures. I still haven't made up my mind, but one thing is for sure, if you're going to use 48 gestures, it's got to be pretty quick to set up or I'm not going to take the time to do it, and it is. Any tool that's already on the gestures can be removed or it can be dragged to another slot. One of my favorite additions is the ability to search for a command I want and simply drag and drop it to the location I'd like. I like my mouse gestures somewhat consistent, so I often have the same tool in the same slot in several modes. If you see a tool that you'd like to copy from one slot to another, simply hold down the control key and drag it right on over. As I joked in the rollouts, once you get all of your settings dialed in, you can print a handy cheat sheet and slap it right on the wall. So now we have a lightning fast way to customize our shortcuts and a quick way to remember what they are. Let's close this down and watch how fast this is in real time when I decide to make a change. Here I've decided that I want fully defined sketch to be on my down swipe. With barely any more time than it would have taken to get to the tool from the command manager, I've customized my interface so that it's at my fingertips permanently. The next time I need it, it's just a swipe away. Well thanks for watching this CAD Dimensions tech tip and I hope to see you back next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.